Previously on Rise of the Third Power, we walked into the Deem in the middle of a riot, resulting in the military arresting us by proxy. We then beat up their commander, Rashim, and recruited him as our second tank. Hmm, what's this village here? Ruins of Foad. Does this place have any enemies? Or just treasure? Empty. Port Hull. Ahoy there, matey. Welcome to Port Hull, home of the finest booty this side of Arcadia. Try your mail in the arena yet? Good luck, you rat. Nobody's ever gotten through the whole thing. Yeah, maybe I should save the arena for when I'm a little stronger. And a yo-ho-ho -ho to you, my good sir. Porthole. Makes portfolio look like a pile of crap, right? Yar. Amethyst. Spices. When they say Porthole is home of the finest pirate booty this side of Arcadia, they are naturally referring to me. Welcome to Port Hole. Please wipe your feet. Wine obtained. Ho there, idiots. You're t itching for a fight I can see in your eyes. Come test your medal in the arena of Port Hole. You get a prize for every fight you win. Win them all and you get Crown Sea Dog Royale. And earn the special prize. What do you say? Hell yeah, gather around everyone. It's time for a fight. Begin round one. Seems that the mobs are uh, uh, are somewhat randomized, according to the guide. Deadly frog? How deadly are we talking here? They all have swords. They're all elites? That's insane. That's this is actually completely insane. They're healing the wrong people. They do so much damage. I'll be lucky just to win the first round. I need to come back later. I am not prepared for this. It's one down. How do you survive that? All their taunts are falling off. Is there anyone I can fury right now? If I can just eliminate one of them, I can turn the tide pretty easily, I think. Uh. Come on. What was that one I defeated before? Yeah, only 13 health left. Okay. 
Okay. Heal you. We need to retaunt everyone. Who will be the next victim of fury? That was a lot of exhaustion in one battle. They did it! Are you going to give it another shot? That's the next round. Uh, maybe we should give it the next round a try. I don't get, uh, if I screw up, then I get a lesser reward, apparently. Round two. Mad Squirrels. Hmm. If I have... Aiden eliminate one. Maybe that can give me a, an advantage. Eight turns for the enemy, huh? Summon. Counter stance. They all have that buff, huh? Not good. I could use Radiant Explosion, but it seems kind of risky. After, because after that, I won't have any lore stacks anymore. Damn it. Oh, he's dead. Hey, that actually worked out. Sort of. Black hole saved my butt there. I, I think this is the limit of my ability right now. Okay. 
Oh, he just realized that Black Hole actually gives him a pact if it kills enemies. Oops, wrong one. Ring of Sapping obtained, okay. They did it! Are you going to give it another shot? I'll take- I'll cut my losses. Here is a pile of stones arranged into a crude memorial. It can only be guessed what its significance might be. Fort Khalid. Delicacy obtained. Does anyone own this fort? Supposed to be Arcadian territory, so I'm a little worried. Delicacy. Knowledge. Sundries. Delicacy. There are a bunch of torches here. Elemental fire. Ring of endurance. It's another pile of stones. Welcome to Porchinon. I keep hearing people whispering about a storm coming. I don't get it. The skies look clear to me. Have you ever seen a pirate? They look sound scary. Everyone talks about Angelico, but you should visit a little town of Ardo Rita near it if you get, uh, get go out that way. It's very peaceful. Mama likes sailing, but it makes me feel sick. Good day. Don't you stir up any trouble, okay? Move along, travelers. Huh? We can go to Angelico? Right now? Got delicacy. Jainon isn't much. Serenpia dominates sea trade, so the Republic never got around to building much of a merchant navy. Oh wait there, what brings you to our little village? Get lost. Can we actually do that? Oh, I'm sorry, but some pirate activity is preventing us from being able to sail to Angelico right now. Once that's sorted itself out, we can set sail. Pirate? So this is no one's territory. Oh crap, the snakes here are actually evil.
restoration should do the trick. I thought this was owned by humans. So why are there so many hostiles? Delete the elite. Perfect, Dark Pact obtained. Warrior Stone free? I actually need that. Wine obtained. Sunlock? That sucks. I should have put Ro in the party. Just want to point out real quick that the elite version of the Earth Elemental Drop Sorcerer Stone free, but I never got to fight it in the recording. I did it off screen. Elite Snake, oh boy. Yes, Archer Stone free. There's a some kind of seal here. Okay, but well it might be worth reloading this place just to go farm some drops. I actually need to fight the elites here if I want to upgrade my stuff. All right, I managed to upgrade everyone's weapon category here. Ishtala, you guys finally get to see what a real city looks like. Torn up as hell? These are just the battle scars, they're pretty. I 
At the very least, it seems more peaceful than Nadim. I'll set up the meeting with the Senate shortly, but first I'd like to return home to my partner. My home is on the east side of town. You're all welcome to c visit. Do I understand if some of you would rather not? Well, it looks like we get to spend another day wandering around a big city. I wonder what kind of boost they have here in Ishtala. They put scorpions in it. I'll try anything once. Alright, enough of your mindless banter. I'm tired of walking and my feet hurt. Are you okay, Reyna? I'm fine. Let's go see Rashim and his family. Rashim's place it is. You left temporarily. Welcome to Ishtala, beacon of sunlight and liberty. You don't look impressed. Well, it's true the city has seen better days. Just keep yourself busy. Nothing you can do about world events, so just try not to think about it, I say. They say another war is looming, but our city is still half destroyed from the last one. Tariq is the birthplace of democracy, and now we're the last bastion of liberty. If I have to die to preserve it, so be it. Ever eat a fig boy? They grow all over the place around these parts. Greater heal, strong twine, and supple hide. Arcadia growing in power across the sea. How long until they strike again? Why does anyone trust them? Our city's scars have been around so long at this point. I say we keep them. Give us the town character. Pirates all over the place. Bah, Tariq should build up her navy. We've always lagged behind Serenthia in that regard. I want to see Temple Talindra. They said that's where Erenefin founded the Empyrean Faith. The temple's okay, I guess. Mama took me there once. The walk is too long from here. Elemental Earth. Heal. We came from Riverton. We're heading to the rainforest down south. They're treacherous, but beautiful this time of year. Oh, hello there. You out from out of town too? This town is old, real old, and it's all torn up from the war too. I don't know, I still think it's pretty though. I came all the way from Whirlwind Village to visit Tariq, on foot too. My stars was... Uh, my stars was a uh, long walk. Welcome, welcome, day, drink, uh, day drinkers, eh? Pull up a stool. Now yeah, don't look at me like that, outsider. It's just a cup of ale. Hail the Republic, citizen. Good day, youngins. What's going... Uh, wh what's on the agenda for today? Dungeon crawling, seafaring, ruin pilfering? A few years ago, I'd show you how it's done. There are ancient pyramids south of the city down where the rainforests begin. They say the ancestors of the founders of Achala built them. Bob, trade's bad with tensions so high. I wonder if we'll ever recover from the Great War. North Scub is over there in Arcadia stirring up a hornet's nest. Won't be... But, but a matter of time before they all come out ready to sting. Hey there, you're outsiders, eh? Well, most of you are, are anyway. Take care of here in Ishtala. The buildings are still uh, still crumble a little bit. Dates, figs, pomegranates, almonds, olives. Come try it. Your taste buds will dance and die with delight. Sunlight and liberty, traveler. Rima and Muip, ha! Huh? All we do is drills and play cards. By the light, give me a war just to end the drudgery. Ba, beaten again. What the heck is this book title? Obey, Loyalty, Dictators, and a Citizen's Role in the Empire by Dmitry Noroskov. Not very subtle, are ya?
Grandma says it's tough finding work when you can't see well and can't sleep well because of all the nightmares. The government did what it could for us vets, but when Arcadia stopped paying war reparations, it ran out of money. I don't blame Tariq, I blame Noriskov. Mana times two? My husband and I both fought in the Great War. Both of us were badly injured. It's been hard to get by ever since. Hey, what do you want? Get out of here. Elemental water. Smell that wars in the air, I think. Back in the old days, there was a huge road connecting Ishala and the demon Takara. We ought to rebuild it. I've never seen a sorrier lot of soldiers in my life. What happens when another war comes? It's time to get your act together. Stands rigid and stiff, staring at the barking drill sergeant in front of him in terror. Getting chewed out again. If anybody tries to mess with Tariq again, I'll explode them with fireballs. Don't talk to us right now, we're getting yelled at. She yawns jurily. Rains have been good lately. The floodplains seem pretty fertile. Well, at least there's some good news. Right in the Dean. Wonder how long until we have to deal with that here in Ishtala. I heard in Arcadia they make snow people. I wonder if I can make sand people. The thing you're thinking of is sand castle, brother. Lick her. A quest? Good day, sir. This is the Hall of Assembly, where the Senate of Tariki Republic meets. I'm afraid only certain people, such as high-ranking military commanders, may request an audience with the Senate. But feel free to have a look around as visitors are welcome. Alright, sorry. Rashim stopped by his home on the east side of town. I wonder if he could get a meeting with the Senate. Okay, he's in a really nice looking house with the grave on it. May the light guide you, travelers. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes I worry people are losing their faith. If we lose faith, what do we replace it with? Good day. I don't suppose you're in the market for sewing services. I'm a bit desperate at the moment. Sorry, mate. Not much call for that in this line of work. Sorry. Well, if you do happen to come across anyone who needs the services of a seamstress, please let me know. Hmm. Again with this? Just go. I don't care anymore. Malik, my duty is paramount. We are on the precipice of war with Arcadia. I do not have the luxury of rest. I understand that, but the children need their father. I need you too. You said you'd be home after Nadim. Now you stop here for barely a moment before you tell me you're leaving again for who knows how long. I know, Malik, and I'm sorry. Something important has come up. It's always something important. I understand that, but your family's important too. I can't. I can't keep doing this by myself, Rashim. This will be the last time, Malik. I swear it. I'll retire from, this uh, from the military, from all of this. I need this one last time, please. At least until we can find a decent replacement commander. This will be the last promise you ever break to me, Rashim. Please come home safe. Have we come at a bad time? I had forgotten how difficult my time away is on my family. Malik is not to blame. Do you, uh, need a minute? Sorry, no, I think lingering here will only make things more difficult for both of us. Come, we must arrange for a time for Ariel to speak with the Senate. Are you the one my regime is traveling with? Please promise to bring him back soon.
We heard you talking to Papa Malik downstairs. You said you're, you were coming home. I am, my boy. Just later than I had expected. Well, what, what is it this time? Do not take that tone with me, Bari. I know this is hard, but it's my duty to serve and pr to protect Tariq. That duty comes at a great cost, but it is not one that can be set aside. We must conserve the greater good. Look after your brother and sister while I'm gone, Bari. I'll be back soon. Yes, Papa. You're helping Papa do his duty, then. I hope you can do it well. We all heard you talking to Papa Malik downstairs. Do you have to leave again? Yes, my duties have make it difficult to stay home for very long, as you know. Soon I will retire and be done with this. How long will you be gone? I cannot say, my son, but I will be home as soon as I am able, for good this time. Hopefully, uh, uh, every time they say they're going to retire, that means they're going to die in the line of duty. Okay, Papa. At least that's how it works in movies, but hopefully uh, uh, everyone will survive the, uh, to the end of the game. I want to come with you. One day when you're older, I will take you on an adventure with me, little Tara. Until then, you must be patient for me. Can you do that, my daughter? Oh, I guess. But I'm going to be little forever. When will you be big enough for, to go with you? Sooner than you think. I can promise you that. Be a good girl while I'm gone. Yes, Papa. You there, I have a task that needs doing and I have enough manpower to see it done. Is your party available for hire? Likely not, as we are on urgent business. Are you asking in an official capacity? Uh, official enough, I suppose. Allow me to explain. Some members of the Senate fears that Tariq is in a dangerous state of disunity. The trouble in Nadim makes that clear enough. I've been tasked with trying to improve morale. I have several projects in the air to correct this at the moment. One of them has stalled, the creation of a massive flag bearing the symbol of Tariq to fly over the Senate. Alas, I haven't the time to seek out a weaver for the job, and my staff is un inundated with other tasks. The situation is a mess, to be honest, so I am forced to ask for outside help. You're in luck. We recently spoke to a seamstress in need of work. Excellent. If you find her capable, give her this note. It contains specifications for the project. Thank you, Administrator. Rowan, you are for whatever reason the de facto leader of this group. In that respect, I request we look into this. The political strife in Tariq has created difficulty in mustering a response to Noroskov. I think it may be wise to assist in correcting this problem in whatever small ways we can, even if it's merely passing on a, a job onto a weaver. Can't argue with that. I'll see what we can do. Maybe that seamstress we spoke to on the other side of town can do it. I appreciate it, Rowan. Let me know if you find anyone looking for a seamstress. We do know of work available to a seamstress, in fact. The Senate is look looking, for, uh, to, looking to weave a unity flag. A rather large one, in fact. Here's a pamphlet detailing the instructions. Is that so? Well, that sounds perfect for me. Let me let's see. By the light, that's quite a job. Hmm, I see one issue, however. I need quite a lot of fabric, especially ordered to create such a large flag. I think the trading company in Angelica will be our best bet for that. If you can go there and order that fabric for me, I can get started when it's shipped here. I see. Well, as I told the administrator of the Senate, I can make no promises. But if we find ourselves in Angelico soon, I will look into having your fabric shipped. Thanks so much. The job is bigger than any I've ever taken. I can't wait to get this uh, get started. Uh, Commander Rashim, good day. You're in from N Nadim, I presume. What can I do for you? Good afternoon. I'd like to request an audience with the Senate. Is President Isan available? Of course, Commander. I'll make the appointment right away. May I ask what this is in reference to? The topic would be Princess Ariel I. Liriada, heir apparent to the throne of Serenthia. I see. One moment, please. The process will take some time, Your Highness. The President will need to schedule a hearing for you to speak. After that, the Senate will vote on where to deliberate this issue further, and vote on where to officially back you after that. Hmm, I'm gonna guess most of the Senate is in Arcadia's pockets. Why so much fuss? Just tell him I said so. It is more complicated than only that, Your Highness. Ariel, is it truly you? I had to see this with my own eyes, and now I can scarcely believe them. Good day and thank you. I'm sorry, you speak as if you know me, but I don't recognize you. Yes, it's been a long time. I was in Serenthia when you were a child, a few years after the war ended. I was a dignitary, a guest of your father. I was and still am deeply saddened to hear the news of your family's tragic deaths. Lord Philip claimed the Tariki government responsible for the assassination. Nonsense, I hope you know. At the reports that only your sister Rebecca had survived and that Lord Philip had taken power in Evenheart, I had feared the worst for both our countries. It is a great relief to see those reports are at least partially untrue. They are mostly true, I'm afraid, but Arcadia is behind these attacks and I have obviously been, not been killed. 
I've come here to request that the Senate of Tariq back my claim to the Crown of Serenthia. If I am able to do so, my first act as Queen will be to dissolve the Serenthian Arcadian Alliance and renew our commitment to Tariq. As you know, Tariq is no friend of the Arcadian Empire. You may consider your claim supported by me personally, at least. Alas, my support alone will not do much good. Without the support of the Senate, we have nothing but words. I'll begin preparations for your emergency hearing, Your Highness. It'll take a few days to sort everything out. You may stay here as our guest, or return when you are ready. Prepare yourself to speak, Princess, as you must convince the Senate that you are legitimate. Is this going to be a, a, a some kind of a, a, a dialogue choice minigame? Something tells me this is going to be a long, tedious process. Demo democracy often is, Your Highness. We avert tyranny, but it comes at the expense of speed. I don't like it. Democracy is tedious. Spoken like a true royal, I, I suppose. Come, it seems we have time to spare before the president is ready for us. You may wait here while they prepare. Yeah, let's wait. I'm definitely not ready for the rest of the arena yet. Gonna need to wait a few more levels, maybe. How you feeling, kid? Like I'm going to be sick. Here, drink this. I'll make you feel better. This ought to be good. Are you kidding me? Glick, now I'm definitely going to be sick. How do you drink that stuff? It's good for you. Put terror in your chest. Oh, wonderful. I was just thinking how much that would help me. Why don't I wrestle some bears and chop some wood while I'm at it? Do you expect the Senate will listen to us? Partisan bickering and grandstanding has gotten worse lately with the tensions around Noriskov's actions. Are there any Noriskov sympathizers in your Senate, though? Still, I would like to believe that they can get past all that and unite behind a worthy cause such as yours. I'll stick out the back and make sure nobody tries anything funny. Sparrow is still hunting us, after all. But if he does attack, will he even stand a chance? He seems to, uh, he seems pretty tanky. We'll be ready for it this time, at least. The President is ready for you, Commander. Very well. Tell her we'll be there shortly. Let me guess, the entire Senate is gets killed by Sparrow. At once, Commander. I know Noriskov's not just gonna let us, uh, do, uh, let us form this alliance so easily. The time has come, Your Highness. Are you ready? Just a moment. Oh, come on! Damn, kid, you warmed up to that stuff quick. Oh god, okay, let's do this. Seriously? Is this gonna work? Are you gonna be able to do this while drunk? Good luck, Ariel. I think that's the first nice thing you've ever said to me, Aiden. I think that may be the first nice thing I've said to anyone. Don't get used to it. Give him hell, princess. Ariel, if I might give some advice, try to keep yourself composed when you address the Senate. And try not to throw up on them. Your demeanor here is as important as the facts. I've never been so deep into Tariq before. I wonder how a Republic works. Are you ready, princess? Yes, I am. This way, your highness. Just gonna save scum my way to victory. I will accompany her, soldier. Yes, sir. Yeah, someone needs to act as a meat shield in case Sparrow shows up. Presenting Princess Ariel Wen Liriada of Serbia and Commander Rashim Tamir before the honorable members of the Senate of Tariq. Thank you, Captain. Commander Rashim, it is a pleasure to see you again as always. Likewise, of course, Madam President. This is a dark time for Serenthia, I understand, Princess Ariel. Your father fought well during the Great War. He was a strong ally. But times have changed. The King planned an alliance with the Empire of Arcadia, which served to threaten all the free people of Rin. That alliance has been signed to law by the Regency Council that rules in Princess Rebecca's stead. That is true. I not know the particulars, as I was not included in my father's dealings in diplomacy. Needless to say, I oppose it. Indeed, you certainly have our attention. Princess Ariel, you may speak. Oh boy, dialogue choices. Four is yours, Ariel. Go ahead. Keep your composure and remember the questioning is designed to be grueling. Not allow yourself to be agitated by it. It's gonna be tough questions, huh? Did she practice ahead of time? I, uh... Oh, she's gonna throw up in front of the crowd because of all the booze she drank. Damn it, Rowan. Why do you let her drink booze? I, the error apparent and rifle queen of Serenthia, Ariel Wenleriada, thank you for your time. Excellent. Welcome then to the chambers of the Republic of Tariq Senate. Would that your visit... C uh, could be under more pleasant circumstances. I apologize ahead of time for what I expect will not be a pleasant experience for you, but such is the nature of Senate hearings. I have called this emergency convening of the Senate to discuss how we should proceed with what Princess Ariel is about to tell us. Please explain the events that have brought you here, Your Highness. 
My married father and my older sister, who was heir to the throne of Serenthia, have been murdered. My friends took me to witness the construction of a secret harbor in Ter Terendor. From there we learned that Arcadia planned a false flag attack. The flag in this case was blue and gold. The attack was meant to provoke a war between Serenthia and Tariq. I returned home to warn my father of this treachery, but he was murdered by an agent of Tr Arcadia before I had the chance. Lord Philip now rules his region for my little sister Rebecca, but his lies about my death prove his involvement in this plot. He is in fact an agent of Arcadia himself, and a traitor to Serenthia. I have come here to ask that you support my claim to the throne of Evenheart, and escort me home so that I might retake it. And may I ask in what way you believe the Senate of Ishala can help you win back your throne? This sounds to me as though it would resolve in the war. I hope, I mean, I believe that the people of Serenthia would rally behind my cause, as would my sister. The army would not contest us, even if Lord Philip demanded it. We would need to worry ourselves with the Arcadian soldiers in Serenthia only. This Lord Philip might not have the power to order his soldiers to attack you, but what if your sister demanded it? Excuse me? Your sister. You would certainly not be the first sibling another would like to see out of the way. Perhaps she has grown to like her crown. How dare you? Rebecca has a child. She is innocent and she would never do such a thing. And then she shows up in evil overlord armor the next day, wielding a giant evil-looking sword. And you certainly wouldn't be the first to be surprised by a sibling's lust for power, princess. That is outrageous. Ariel, you must not allow yourself to be offended by these questions, no matter how insulting they might feel. Rebecca would never do that. I believe you, but these senators do not know that, and have no cause to assume it must be true, princess. It is reasonable of them to ask, and your anger does not reflect well on your cause. You must compose yourself. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sure you're right. It's just... I would like to know how this woman can prove her identity. She claims she is a princess, and it seems pres President Isan believes her. I frankly will need more assurance than that. Princess Rebecca has publicly acknowledged Ariel's death. Ariel's own sister believes she is dead, and so do I. I prefer not to provoke a losing war by backing a false queen and stealing a crown. I remember the Great War. I will not subject my children or the children of Tariq to another. It would not start, uh, start a war. It would prevent one, and I'm not lying about who I am. With all due respect, lady, uh, young lady, Princess Ariel is known to be reclusive. Not many have ever seen her face. I certainly do not recognize you. I ask again, what proof do you have? The concern here is that legitimacy. Do you have like a royal ring or something that proves you're part of the royal family? Don't people usually have those? I can assure you that she is who she claims, Senators. And with all due respect to you, Madam President, and I ask what proof you have. Nothing more than your promises, I suspect. Yeah, we're gonna do this on our own. Somehow. Princess Ariel, I have another line of questioning I must f pursue. I hope it is less insulting than the last. The party you travel with now, what is your relationship to them? Oh, that. Uh, yes, we are met in Serenthia when they, uh, when they went, your highness. Oh no. They kidnapped her from her own wedding, Madam President. Is that correct, Princess Ariel? Yes, it's correct, but it was for a good reason. They had to stop the wedding so that the alliance between Arcadia and Serenthia would be postponed. Their plan was to show me proof of Arcadia's treason, so I might warn my father, since he would not listen to them. I would certainly agree it was an extreme measure to take, but given what's at stake, I see why they felt they had no other choice. Is it not possible you're being lied to? Lied to? No, it isn't possible. I saw Arcadia's treachery with my own eyes. I must explore all possibilities here, your highness, as it's my duty to the office of the president of the Tariki Republic. You're asking us to be willing to declare war on Serenthia in support of claiming your throne. It is a grave matter and one that must be caref considered carefully. How many times so, what, must I say it will not come to war? It's, actually, it's going to come to war either way, but if you help now, you might be able to gain an advantage early on. Princess, you must put yourself in our position in considering this. What happens if we march with you on even heart with your kidnappers and find that your sister and your people believe you are an imposter, and all while Arcadia inflames tensions between us? I believe you as... The, I said, but that won't count much for much of your people don't. So please tell me, Ariel, what you believe will happen after that. The senator from Takara is correct. Legitimacy is exactly the issue we're contending with here. I don't... I mean, it, it doesn't matter, because that won't happen. I'll be seen as legitimate. My sister will see to that. None of this matters. I, bl I believe her as well. Ariel was reclusive, yes, but she was not invisible. This is the princess. We have an election coming in a mere two months. If those more inclined towards Arcadia's system of governance than ours haven't forgotten, there is no circumstance in which I would vote for something as bold as backing Ariel's claims to the throne without first conferring with my constituents. I beg your pardon? Ariel, in a few months the Republic will hold its five-year election cycle. The senator from the Deem is correct. Your support would be on the ballot. But we don't have two months. We may not have two days. That is no small request, Princess. Regardless, we'll now begin our deliberations. I have finished with my questions. 
You're free to go as you wish, Your Highness. We will deliberate this matter over the coming weeks. Weeks? Okay, yeah, let's just let's just recruit the free company. I think maybe if we offer to pay them enough money, they might be willing to at least act as meat shields. Isan, Madam President, please listen to me. If we wait much longer, it will be too late. I hear you, Your Highness. I'll do my best to convince the Senate. So it goes in the nation without a king. These hearings are adjourned. Wait, listen to me. Yeah, I f well, it wasn't the worst case scenario. I was afraid there were the outright Arcadian spies in the Senate, but still, this uh, th uh, even if we uh, even if they agreed the response would be too slow, and that's a big if, anyways. So do you like just use some sort of dye or what? Your hair? How do you get it to that fancy shade of blue? It seems to be a different color from Victoria as well. I'm a magic user, you jackass. We all have hair like this. Really? How do you not know that? I don't know. I never thought about it. What, do you think Reyna dyed her hair too? Well, yeah. Ahem. Oh, hey, Rashim, how did it go? Not as I ho had hoped. We were leaving. Ariel, what happened? They're not going to help us, and I can't stand the sight of this place any longer. Okay, hold on, kid. We're not going to get anything done with you rushing off. Everyone form up. Alright, so what are we dealing with here? What happened? Democracy, that's what. Why don't these people have a king I can speak with? Voting is stupid. Half the Senate didn't believe I was a princess, while well, and the other half were worried nobody else would believe it. Since Philip claimed I had been killed by tricky radicals, they were afraid of what it would look like if they supported my claim to the throne. They thought it would lead to a succession of war with Arcadia coming in on the other side of Rebecca. As if my own baby sister would fight against me. I kept telling them that supporting me would prevent a war, not start one, but he kept complaining about legitimacy. Legitimacy, the nerve. Well, shit. Now what do we do? Two months. That's how long it would take for him to deliberate, they said. They have to vote. How can someone even argue for two months? I hate democracy. Ariel, enough. I shared your frustration, but democracy is how you avoid men like Emperor Noriskov. Yeah, if only. They can still find loopholes. It just takes a little longer. What? Don't scold me. I'm a freaking princess. I don't care what you were born to. If people have a voice, I will not just stand here while you slander it. Both of you, please. Rasheem, you may be right, but it's very true that we haven't two months to spare. Let's just let's just recruit some outside forces. If we can't rely on Tariq's army, we'll have to build our own somehow. You're right. Norskov will surely have launched his assault by then. I stand by what I've said, Your Highness. But ideological differences aside, you and uh, we we are and must remain allies. Nobody's ever talked to me like that before. What a rush! Well, you're screwed. I'm gonna go kill Victoria myself. See ya. In wait, you're the only black magic guy we have. You can't bail on us yet. How are we gonna kill elite enemies without you? Come on, help us save the world. Ugh. Wow, he, uh, he, he, he sure gave up fast. Anyway, what about the rest of the resistance? We don't have the uh, enough power for that, do we? Can't we muster all of our forces and try to sabotage that harbor in Terrandor or something? We hardly have any forces to muster, and it would take weeks to prepare those we do have. Well, anyway, whatever we're going to do, we can't discuss it out in the open like this. Let's find some place safe and free figure this out. Fall on everyone. I say we, re we recruit the free company. And maybe, maybe, maybe Rowan's ex can also be recruited. I don't know. Oh no, is Spar Sparrow gonna pop up? Yep, he's here. He's probably gonna kill anyone who looks like they're gonna vote in favor of Ariel, right? Right? Or maybe he'll kill people from both sides to stir up even more chaos and and just prevent Tariq from doing anything whatsoever? I don't know. Uh, Commander Rasheem, pardon me, but I have a sealed message for you. The person who gave it to me said it was urgent. Do you, do you know from whom? She left before I could ask, Commander. She did say to tell you a storm is coming. I nearly cast her away, but she insisted. She said a storm is coming. Oh, thank you, Secretary. I will look into this. Now that he's an unofficial member of the Resistance, he presumably knows their catchphrase. A storm is coming is the Resistance code around here. Interesting. But why would this be addressed to me? It is asking me specifically to take my party to Janan. It is signed with only the letter N. Sounds suspicious. Is there any chance one of your enemies would know of the know the code phrase? Only Sparrow could possibly know. Since he's so sneaky. Hell if I know. Sorry. Very well. Let's investigate then. We just have to be careful. I don't like this. They're going to assassinate the president and blame it on us. 
We're going back in there. We need to tell the president. I do hope your meeting with the Tariki said it went well. P politics are a bit strained Tariki these days. Okay, yeah. R rip President Isan. If we're going to Janan Village, it's the port town. Just northeast of us. Well, that letter said Janan, but where are we supposed to go? We'll just have to look around, I suppose. Get lost. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, uh, any chance you feel like giving us some shelter, pal? Looks like a storm is coming. A storm, you say? Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, we couldn't have you cut uh, out in that, could we? Come on in. You have the best to take cover inside if that storm is really coming, eh? Please don't be a trap from Sparrow. Please have N stand for Natasha. Whoa, that's a hell lot of booze. Rowan, priorities. Well, this is the place, is it not? Nobody's here, but that guy out front wasn't guarding the front door for nothing. Maybe th this N person is just running behind. Order dead. I'm quite alive, thank you very much. That voice. Caught ya. Rashim, I'm so glad you received my letter. It's been years. How have you been, darling? I'm going by Natasha these days, if you please. Be on your guard, all of you. This is person is no friend of mine. And I'll answer none of your questions, spy. Why have you contacted me? How do you know where to find me? I know everything, darling, though I'm impressed you recognize me. Uh, this is awkward. Rasheem, this is- this lady is the Resistance Spymaster. You're joking. Katya or Natasha, wh whatever name she goes by these days, is Arcadia's Spymaster. She works for Dmitry Noroskov himself, and has for many years. My forces were pitted against hers during the war. Oh no, we don't even know which side she's on anymore. That explains why she knew the names of s the people she was spying on, but... Still, she didn't communicate with them even though she could have in Serenthia. Unless she's supposed to be so secretive she's not- even Victoria is not supposed to know. She even had a hand in putting Noroskov in power to begin with as I understand it. What? That can't be true! You work for Noroskov! No, no, everyone's- everybody stay calm. It's all true, except for the timing. I once worked for Noroskov as a spy master. Past tense, Your Highness. In time, I came to see Noroskov for what he truly is and I turned against him. It had taken me far too long to see the truth, I admit. So what, you now wish to atone for your crimes? Even if I believed you, this is one hell of a debt to pay. Norskov is responsible for the unjust torture and imprisonment of thousands and the deaths of thousands more. This is your debt too. Atonement? No, I'm just doing what I believe is right. I, I once believed that meant serving him. Now I believe it means defeating him. At any rate, Ariel poses a grave threat to the Emperor's plans for Serenthia. If I was working for him, she'd be dead by now, I assure you. Satisfied? Good. Then let's get on with why I actually brought you here. A bit of court intrigue from Uningrad. Emperor Norskov has imprisoned his son, Prince Gage, for treason. Oh my, what happened? The Emperor demands absolute loyalty. Peasants, nobles, it doesn't matter. In fact, Norskov has for years been purging Arcadia of anyone, regardless of social standing, that he considers a dissident. And even his son is not exempt. That's all very interesting, but what does Prince Gage's circumstances have to do with us? Simple, we're going to rescue him. Rescue him? That jackass did try to execute me, you know, twice. Details, just hear me out. But he did save Ariel that one time. Succession of the Arcadian throne involves a nation ritual. Rulers must ascend the sacred mountain of Perendesh, confirm the sages that live at the summit, and by them be judged worthy. Since ancient times, every Arcadian would be monarch has climbed that mountain and accepted the judgment of the sages. All but one. Noroskov. Just so, just so your highness. Noroskov led an uprising to overthrow the king who had surrendered to Tariq and Serenthia to end the Great War. And I helped him do it. He took his closest companions on the ritual to summon the Perendesh, myself, Victoria, and someone you know quite well, Princess. One Lord Philip, your late father's advisor. No. Is his betrayal beginning to make more sense? They became friends after a peace accord that ended the Great War. A story for another day, but he was in Noroskov's pocket from the beginning.
Together we spoke with the sages. As a tradition, they used their magic to light the king's flame. A beacon to alert the land to a new king. But, but what people don't know is that the sages judged him unworthy. So he killed them, one by one. Tortured them until they at last relented. Norse God installed his personal guard to replace the Order of Templars that had guarded Perendesh. But I believe the surviving sages live there still. I don't think they'll be happy to see you. That is devastating to his legitimacy if it is true. Yeah, if we're going there, we may have to hide you in the reserve party section. But what does this have to do with Gage? Why do you want to rescue him? You want to uh, uh, convince him to turn against North Skov, take an, uh, uh, and then become a legitimate ruler through that ritual. By the way, your plan is to rescue him so you can overthrow the Emperor and install him on the throne. Just so. Rashim, I'm delayed your age hasn't dulled your wits. That is exactly my plan. We'll have to take him a parent dash for him to be seen as legitimate. We only hope the sages are willing to judge him worthy. And this reminds me a bit of the situation with the uh, in Tiamat Sacrament, where uh, 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 where the rebels were once supporters of Region because they thought that the previous king was too incompetent and corrupt, only for Region to turn out to be even worse, so they had to form a rebellion. Norse God would never give up his throne. It would lead to civil war. Correct. Granted, we haven't prevented war altogether, but we can sell for a much smaller one, yes? However, for this one to work, we'll also need to get you back on your throne in Evenheart, Ariel. Gage will need Serenthian military aid. I haven't a solution to that problem yet. Regardless, we must first see the, to the rescue of Prince Gage. But would your sages really be okay with the son of the man that murdered a bunch of them? I'm from Arcadia myself. I know it's super, stupid superstition. They're just people. I bet they'll be, be all too happy to stick it to Noroskov. Using his own son to do it is salt in the wound. He can't be serious. Gage knows about his father's schemes, his plan to conquer all of Rin. Well, he's tra trading one tyrant for another. Gage is no tyrant. His father may have poisoned his mind. He may be ruthless at times, but he is also kind. He spared my life once and saved it in our time. I think we should rescue him. Even if Gage is a tyrant, if his aim isn't to start the Great Second War, I suggest we deign to tolerate him. The lesser of the evils. All in accord, then. Hmm, wonderful. I'll take point. Sorry, this woman is not to be trusted. Natasha is a snake and always has been. But if her plan works, she's right. It will prevent a reprise of the Great War, and it will abide her presence, for now. Hurley matters. Getting Gage on top of Perendesh is a great idea. Rescuing him is suicide. All her plans are suicide. That's what makes them fun. For you. Hey princess, maybe it'd uh, be better if you sat this one out, huh? I have to imagine you're going to be much safer somewhere like the Senate building than in Tariq rather than traveling in with us. Yeah, right. I'm pretty sure Sparrow's already killing Senators as we speak. That may be, but I don't know if I trust Tariq to keep me safe considering half the Senate thinks I'm lying. They may just trade you over uh, 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 to, uh, uh, to Serenthia uh, uh, in order to, uh, uh, to stave off a war. Besides, my baby sister is in Lord Philip's clutches and my former fiancé is in Noriskov, so I do not intend to sit idly by. I'll do what I can to rescue them. Fair enough, kid. Let's go. Okay, Natasha has joined the party. Alright, I guess we're heading to Arcadia uh, 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 next. The only way there is to book passage to Angelico first. We can charter a ship from here if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we can actually go to Angelico. Okay, but they're discussing pirate activity again. Once that sort itself out, we can set sail. So how do we sort it out? Hmm, this is a problem. There's a pirate camp to the south of Ish Ishtala. Perhaps this is worth investigating. Otherwise, I don't know how we'll be able to get to Angelico and to Arcadia from there. I say we head south. Ugh, more pirates. Okay, that's our next mission. We were already there once. Hopefully we can s uh, still get some uh, additional drops from there. If Gage is going to join the party, we're going to need to get drops from him too, but we'll use Archer, Warrior, or Sorcerer Stone. He used a Lightning Spell once, so he might use Sorcerer, but he also has a Spear, so he might use Warrior. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Rise of the Third Power. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.